Welcome back again to Arenka's Kitchen. I have a, another family favorite recipe that I'd like to share with you. It's called braised beef or wild game meat with sour cream sauce and it's in Hungarian it's called badosh. So what I'd like to do is begin by um, showing you how this great recipe is put together. So I have here three tablespoons of vegetable oil and I've started it up on medium heat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add the beef to the to the heated vegetable oil and then what I've done is I've diced two medium onions and two medium carrots and three garlic cloves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the beef and what I've done is I've used eye of round beef and I have several pieces here. I have about uh, six pieces of beef that I have uh, cut thinly and I'm going to add that and I'm going to braise, braise the beef. So sort of browning, browning it on one side first. And I'm going to bring my heat down. So you want to bring it down to about a minimum heat. And get get the uh, oil kind of sizzling. So you want to, to braise braise the beef evenly on both sides and then you're going to add going to add the uh, diced carrots and onions and garlic cloves to the meat. So I'm going to get this going here and I'm going to um, braise both sides of the, of the uh, beef. So you want to make sure that your uh, oil is not overheated. So I'm going to braise both sides of the beef. Now this is this is a, a great recipe served with uh, wild game meat, and I have some tips about how to prepare it with wild game meat. My father used to go hunting with his friends, and uh, they would um, hunt for deer or elk or moose. And then um, there are some tips as to how you can prepare it with wild game meat. It's traditionally it would be. Uh, prepared with wild game meat, but today I've used beef. So if you if you can't get a hold of uh, wild game meat, you can also do this with uh, beef. It's great with beef. So I'm just going to bring up the temperature a little bit more, and then I'm going to braise this. And this is great served with uh, rice and dumplings, potatoes. Uh, traditionally, it would be served with dumplings. I have a recipe on site for dumplings. But today I'm going to be serving it with rice um, for my husband and myself. And there might be some leftover, so we'll probably save some for tomorrow. It's good uh, to keep for maybe uh, one or two days, um, not longer than that. So you want to just cook up enough for your family. It's not something that I would freeze. So, And you cook up as, as many pieces of meat as you need need to do so. So if you're expecting eight guests, you might want to cook up, you know, double that so you have extras. Because for sure there's going to be, people are going to be taking um, a second helping to it because it's it's really delicious. So what I'm going to do, the next step is after I've braised the uh, beef in vegetable oil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the onions and carrots and garlic cloves to the beef. And then I'm going to continue cooking. So I'm going to add my uh, onions to the beef. Now that I've, I've sort of braised the beef, and I'm just going to put that on top of the beef. And then I'm going to take my three garlic cloves. I've sort of chopped them up into bite sizes. And then I've got some carrots. I've got two, two medium carrots in there. So, and then I just kind of kind of uh, stir this around on the top of the beef, so it just kind of sits on top of the beef. Then what I do is I add my spices, my salt and pepper. So you can add, according to my recipe, you can add more or less. I like to add a lot of uh, black pepper. Then I just kind of stir it around on top of the, in the um, 
vegetables. Then I bought um, bay leaf. So I'm going to just put those on the top here. I'm not. I'm going to just let them. I'm not going to crush them or anything. Because what you want to do is you always remove the bay leaves before you put the sauce on top. So I have a sauce recipe to go with the sour cream sauce recipe. And then I add my uh, mustard. And I've got Dijon mustard here. This is a little bit stronger, but um, you can do a more mild one. I've got sort of a stronger Dijon mustard that I've uh, purchased. But if you don't like the strong, a strong taste to it, then you can add a more, more milder taste. It. So I just kind of stir it around in, within the vegetables. Then what I do is I add water. One and a half cups of water to the meat and to the vegetables. And I'm going to cook this at uh, medium heat for about uh, 35 to, to 40 minutes. I'm going to check midway to see if my uh, meat is cooked thoroughly. And then I'm going to add my sour cream base once my meat is well done and cooked. And I'm going to make sure that I'm, I've only put in two bay leaves. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to take those out because they, they don't soften up even in water. So they're very, very um, sort of firm. Even, even after you've cooked them, so it's, it's a good idea to remove them. Okay, and then I make sure to take that out before I add my sour cream base. So I'm going to let this cook in the water, and I'm going to put on a lid, and I'm going to leave it halfway on, and I'm going to put the heat up to about uh, medium heat, or maybe just a little bit higher than that. And then I'm going to let it uh, cook there. So I'm going to check it, and then I'm going to make sure that the beef is, is ready. So when the beef is ready, I'll be back, and I will show you that wonderful sour cream base that makes this recipe very unique with the beef. Welcome back again to Irinka's Kitchen. I've had some braised beef cooking on the stove for about approximately about... 45 minutes and what I've done is I've added the sour cream base so according to my recipe if you look on my website you you can uh, actually click on my uh, recipes any of my recipes and you can make a copy of it if you need to do that um, alongside with my videos so in my recipe I have a uh, recipe for sauce so it's one cup of sour cream and I also have four tablespoons of milk and one tablespoon of flour so I've really thoroughly Mix that up so I get the lumps out of the um, uh, sour cream uh, and flour and make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then what I do is when the beef is ready and cooked, then I add the sour cream, I added the sour cream uh, sauce to it. So and I brought it to a quick boil. And what I do is then I bring it down to medium heat and I continually um, cook it for about two or three minutes and I wait until it's, the sauce kind of thickens and then I immediately take it off the uh, burner and then of course it's ready to serve with any of the number of things I mentioned like uh, dumplings, rice or potatoes. So what I like to do is I like to bring the camera down and like to show you what this wonderful recipe looks like. So this looks fantastic. So I've got some rice here and I've um, as you can see, you can see the uh, sauce and the carrots and the onions and garlic and you can also, I can smell the bay leaves and of course I've removed the bay leaves before I added the sour cream base. Um, it's got, uh, the kitchen is smelling just great with um, all the different uh, spices and, and uh, garlic and onion. So um, what I'd like to do is show, also show you what it looks like in a serving dish. So this is this is what it looks like on a plate. And then what I've done is I've added it to a serving dish. So you can actually put this on the table and people can help themselves like this too. And it's got, um, as you can see, a, a sour cream base and you can see the little specks of uh, pepper in the sauce and, and the uh, carrots give it that color contrast. So this is a, a great recipe that you can serve with uh, 
wild game, wild wild meat, and you can um, any of the choices of wild game meat that I've mentioned or whatever is available in your area. And also I've given some tips about about wild game. So it's really important to wash out the wild game meat and let it soak in cold water before you actually prepare it. So that's one of the tips. And also if you have um, sort of a more inexpensive cut of beef, a uh, great tenderizer is Italian salad dressing. So if you could buy some Italian salad dressing or if you've got a recipe of your own, what you do is you baste both sides of your uh, wild game meat or your beef and you put it on a plate and you put it, uh, cover it with aluminum foil and leave it in the fridge for overnight and then when you're ready to prepare it in the morning or whenever you want to prepare your dish for your guests or your family, it's a great tenderizer. So if you need to um, get a copy of my uh, recipe, what you can do is go to my website and you can click on to the uh, recipe of your choice and make a copy of it because I do have a typed up version of it and I also have a picture of it. So until next time, bon appetit, yo et vadet. I hope that you enjoy um, cooking this meal for your family and friends.